Hello mechanics, let's gear up for a little bit of this little game, The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Now this is a game by Edmund McMillan, a sort of sequel, sort of update to the original Binding of Isaac, which it's a top-down twin-stick shooter, which means I'm going to be using uh, WASD and my arrow keys at the same time. I'll jump in here. I have played quite a bit, so I'm just going to go to file 3 and start here. Now you see we have all these characters, but we don't have any unlocked right now. See? So we're just going to play as Isaac. Normal mode for now. Get into hard mode a little later on once I start beating some of this stuff. As you can see, we go WASD move, arrow keys. I have a bomb, but I'm not going to use it just yet. You can press E to use your bombs. The entire story of this game is basically you play as a young boy named Isaac, whose mother is batshit crazy hopped up on some, you know, like, Christian broadcast, and she thinks her son is going to be, like, Satan or something, and tries to kill him with a knife. Already kind of fucked up, right? Well, no, this is where it gets even more fucked up. As you're running around in this dark basement filled with random monsters trying to survive by killing them with your own tears, you have to eventually get to and defeat your very own mother. Once you do that, you unlock more difficult levels in which you have to destroy her heart as well. There's a lot of heavy influence from... There's a lot of Christian themes, a lot of random like religious themes as well, items that base off these themes, and so on and so forth. Now, without further ado, I'm going to end the uh, what is the game part of this recording and just kind of get to the straight on playing. As you can see... Not doing too well, taking a lot of stupid damage, and keys are going to be lovely later on. So now I'm going to come down here. I'm thinking I'm going to do two floors, maybe three floors for you. I might just complete this entire run, given it's not going to be very long. Now, things we need in the early game, we need uh, more spirit hearts with our blue hearts. Those can save your life, as well as save your devil deal chances. Now, I'll get into that a little bit later once we get to there. Oof close dodges. Okay, that's about it. So, the reason I started playing this game is mostly because I've been told I have some really interesting commentary when it comes to this, especially pertaining to when I get items that I don't like or when something's just not working very well for me. This guy's spitting shit out for no reason. He looks like some sort of fucked up sprinkler. This one's doing it too. I want to take those out before I take out the ones that are just walking around minding their own business. How fucked up is that? He's just running around in a basement, fucking up everybody. <clears throat> Pardon me, throat's a little dry today. Hmm. You see, the, uh, the first item we picked up was lard, as you can tell by the fact that Isaac is now a fat ass. Um, I probably should have remembered that I picked up lard, because to be honest, I was looking around for the item room, even though I had already gone to it, which is, you know... Something I do quite a bit. First boss, Monstro. Monstro is pretty easy. He does a little spitty attack. He jumps and tries to crush you. Thank you for the timing, Monstro. And he just kind of follows you around trying to stomp on you. A little bit of frame rate. Okay, Monstro. I want you to chill the fuck out. This is not... Jim... Jim? Is Jim even a word? I don't know. I was trying to go like some sort of weird great balls of fire parody. Flip, flop, fly. Don't care if I die, except in this case I do, because the entire goal is to kill somebody else instead of being killed yourself. <clears throat> Again, pardon the uh, dry throat. Alright, killing a monstro. And you're dead. Poof, blood fireworks, and we get a cat of nine tails, which apparently makes Isaac cry harder, which causes his tears to do more damage. And he gets really fucked up as time goes on. Let's just see how absolutely horrid we can make this guy look before the end of this run. Which should be pretty entertaining. Now, that little clock you saw on the levels, the level thing where we're going through and we're going to have new... Ooh, nice. This is an arcade where you can, you know, give your health away for money. You can also come in here and, like, double on this thing and get spirit hearts and such. I already have a spirit heart, which means... I'm going to be perfectly okay with going down to a half heart on this. Ooh, a nickel. Sweet. If I had a nickel for every time I said that, I, well, I only have one. 
Uh, key to fight bosses. Not really worth it yet. We're not quite powerful enough. I could use a little more damage. As you can see, we're killing these guys faster. It's no longer three hits to kill them. It's two. Doing a little more damage. Item room is Ghost Baby. Oh, I don't want your successful abortion. I mean, I guess that's what Ghost Baby is. A successful abortion. What it's doing in Mom's basement, I have no idea. Mom has a creepy-ass basement. Like, who, who lights these fires down here, too? There's a lot of things I don't really think about when I'm playing this game that I, I notice when I'm recording because I'm a weirdo like that. Now we're going to come in here. We only have two items in the shop. I almost forgot. Um, none of these are very worth it, so I'll donate five cents to our donation machine. The donation, the donation machine, pardon my lack of the ability to speak English language, basically unlocks new shop items, and when you get to 999 cents, you get a very, very, very powerful item. Like, an item that alone can win you the game. Even though you don't technically win, you just follow this endless loop of, ah, endless loop of screaming, until you stop getting so close. That is actually somewhat stressful. I'm trying to look not terrible at this game, and Larry Jr., you are not helping me with that. Please go die in a hole. Thank you. Now we got Monstro's Tooth. Also got dogs freaking out in the background. I am very sorry if you can hear these dogs, because, again, these dogs don't know how to dog. They know how to be annoying. Ooh, the pentagram. Damage up and these cool fucking horns. All right. Notice the tears are getting significantly bigger, and my frame rate is getting significantly lower. Alright, gonna kill that. <clears throat> Clear my throat again. For the 478th time this video. Throat Clearing Simulator 2015, best game. Alright, um, so now we're gonna come back here. Kill more stuff, get hit by a fly, which I probably shouldn't have. There we are. Now that I have a bomb, I can start checking for, uh, tinted rocks. Tinted rocks are little hidden rocks, like, they're fake rocks, technically. Oh, yeah, I'm not at half a heart. Hold up. What do we do with a drunken sailor? What do we do with a drunken fuck? IV bag. You're the same thing, except I carry you around, which is significantly more beneficial given I don't have anything in my spacebar slot. Which is what I was doing. I was pressing spacebar, it was hurting Isaac, and it was giving me more red hearts, which I probably don't even need. Very, very lovely payout. Golden chests, not very well worth it, but there are certain items that make it worth it. And you have the chance for just a random pickup, like say, you get flying items, you get really high damage items, you get items that make your tears do crazy shit. That's another thing in this game, you can get really interesting things to, that your tears can do. You can have them home in on enemies, you can have a fucking blood laser. You can have a normal laser if you feel like it, but honestly, I don't know why you would want a normal laser, because, I mean... You can have a blood laser. Just add blood to it and it becomes 40% cooler. Guaranteed. It's a Harvard study. Oh, Spirit Heart. That's a rare drop, but I like it. Oh, yeah. The blood bank The blood bank blew up. Try saying that three times fast. I'm not exactly the best uh, articulator of words at this point in time. I can't see a tinted drop, so I'm just going to check for a secret room. It's not there. Secret rooms are these little hidden rooms that are tucked away inside little nooks and crannies that when you blow up into them, you get like a special item or maybe you get like more frame rate issues like we were seeing there. And down to the next floor. Lovely uh, animation of Isaac being shit on repetitively. This boy has some really fucked up dreams. Then again, if you were being chased by your mother who intended to kill you for some guy who's living in the atmosphere... Okay, a spider! Spider, no! Spider. Oh, jeez. And now we're in a very dangerous place, a high risk of death. Welcome to the jungle, arcade and casino. We'll take your life now. Okay, so, uh, so far, staying alive. No, you're not allowed to spit flies. I would really like something beneficial to my survival, please. Health? No, a key. I could use a key, actually. Donate five more cents. There we go. A blue map has appeared in the basement. Lovely. 
I don't know what the hell that does for me, but it does something. It's not health. I could really use some health. Did I mention I need some health? Because for fuck's sake, I'm not going to survive on half a heart for the entire game. Oh, this game is such a pile of ass. That's not what I meant. A little more health than this would be nice, but it's an excellent start. Thank you, Isaac, for doing your damnedest to give me the bare minimum required for basic survival. Okay, so now we get rid of these guys who leave bloody trails, and we shoot the spider guy who becomes a bigger spider. Another key, and we go into here, and we get a box of spiders. Oh, actually, you know, that's pretty decent right there. So goodbye, IV bag. I have a box that spits spiders out whenever I hit the space bar after two rooms. <clears throat> Once again, apologies for my throat. I know it sounds like there's a fucking rancor going haywire in there. But I assure you, Luke Skywalker's taking care of the problem. Not that that ever has anything to do with anything. Will one of you just die already? Somewhere over the rainbow, these things die. There we go. Please. 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 There we go, thank you, finally. And we get another bomb, which I'm going to promptly put in here to check for a secret room. Bullseye. I mean, yeah. I can, I can work with that, I guess. I mean, I don't know what it does for me exactly. Three cents when I had 30 cents, and the most costly item I've seen in the shop is only 15. But hey. Oh. Oh, jeez. No thank you. You're like Larry's weird... World War II grandpa. Back in my day, you charged faster at the enemy. You don't just run at them. You gotta charge. Oh, well, back in your day, something, something, something interesting. Ooh, a trinket. Trinkets are little collective items that give you a passive effect. Now, this pearl that I picked up gives you more spirit hearts, I believe. Please go away, spot. Please go away, silkworms. I think you're silkworms. You don't seem like silkworms, you just seem like really... Okay, they, they actually look somewhat happy. They accept their death with a smile. This game is brutal as fuck. Okay, more spiders. Three spiders, not bad. Gertie Jr., pain in the ass to try and deal with. Because he does that. She, he, it, generic monster pronoun... Okay, you can you can keep doing that and then die. Thank you, Gertie Jr. Extra health, extra speed, which is great because the lard was a speed downgrade. And with this, I can promptly exit and go up into that curse room. Curse rooms take your health and give you a chance at an item. That's about it. However, I will always go into the curse rooms because they're pretty damn useful. Like, you can get things, you can get a guppy transformation. If you want to be a flying dead cat of pain and suffering. I mean, that sounds like fun. I'm gonna come back up in here and donate till I get down to 20 cents. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Store upgrade, level 1, sweet. 1, 0. I got a store upgrade. That's fucking amazing. Okay. As you can see, there's a lot of running around in this game. It's just your basic, randomly generated dungeon crawler. Uh, this ghost baby following me around has done fuck all for me, basically. Which is, you know, pretty much how a ghost baby would do for you in real life. Not that you would have a small, spectral child following you around at any given time for any given reason. I got hit there. I'm gonna die here. Yeah, I've. it's a foregone conclusion. I'm dead. Thank you very much. Devil Deal's gone as well because I've been been hit you, you get hit on a floor your devil deals gone pretty much especially if it's red heart damage come on Ed. Uh. wanna say hi thank you wanna say hi again come on you know you wanna thank you uh, I've taken red heart damage but I still think there's a chance at a devil deal come on Say hi. Thank you. N not enough thank you. Um. Ah. Eh? Gotcha. Perfect. 
Gonna come in here. Ooh, Cursed Eye. I don't know how I feel about this. You charge up a barrage of shots and let it all go at once. Similar to some idiot who's decided to... Um, I don't know how I'm gonna go with that joke. I'm not very comfortable with that joke. Oh, I broke my donation machine. Okay. That's lovely. I don't know about the joke. Uh, similar to somebody who has something like a... The guy who shakes his drink before he drinks it for good luck. I beg your fucking pardon? Why the hell am I in here? Is that something cursed eye does? Is that why it's cursed? Because it teleports you? Oh, and I'm dead. Alright. Well, I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode, given I died on this one. That's all for this time. If you like this, leave a like. If you didn't, well, then just tell me what's wrong with it, I guess. I mean... It's early enough that some feedback on this stuff and what to do would be very useful. See you guys in the next video. TBM, signing out.